this is um, a continuation of the first um, recorded lecture from chapter seven, and, and it would it's um, a good time to kind of reiterate some of the things that we talked about in that last video clip, uh, and expand on some of the details a little bit. So, um, so once again, we are looking here at a at photosystem two which is again made up of a light harvesting complex which has an antenna complex of chlorophyll molecules, um, chlorophyll A and B, carotenoids, any sort of pigment molecules that can capture sunlight energy. Um, that energy is transferred from molecule to molecule in the light harvesting complex and then also to the special chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction center by radiationless transfer. Um, so we want to make sure we identify the type of transfer of energy um, that's taking place in these um, in this comp in the in photosystem two, so energy transferred by radiationless transfer or radiationless um, radiationless transfer or inductive resonance <coughs> um, in the light harvesting complex. Or let's say within the light harvesting complex and to P680 chlorophyll A molecule. And then as we started to talk about or as we did talk, continue to talk about uh, once that electron in the P680 oops, is um, once that electron is excited then it's actually the excited electron that gets transferred to pheophyton which then gets transferred to the um, the QA quinone molecule. So that energy transfer is a photooxidation step, which is part of um, um, part of the, the photochemical redox reaction for photochemical redox reaction. So transferring um, the the excited electron from P680 to pheophyton is the first photochemical redox reaction. So P680 gets oxidized. Um, now the so to to clarify, just in case we needed to uh, clarify this, the um, different transfers of, e of electron from we start out with P680 kind of at this you know stable energy state which then receives that, ele that excited electron let's say or um, it receives energy rather from the light harvesting complex by radiationless transfer um, which is going to trans um, tra not transfer, but, but transform this P680 chlorophyll A molecule in, into one that has an excited electron. And we symbolize that again with the asterisk there. Um, and so one electron, this one excited electron from P680 is then going to be transferred over by that first photochemical redox step or photooxidation step, going to be transferred to pheophyton. And we're just going to abbreviate pheophyton here because we've already talked about pheophyton. Uh, pheophyton is similar to chlorophyll A, uh, except that at the center, instead of having a magnesium uh, at the center of the porphyrin head, it um, contains hydrogen ions. So once um, once pheophyton receives the the electron, now uh, we've got essentially the change of P680 to an oxidized form plus pheophyton in the reduced form, which we're going to symbolize with the negative showing the, the electron there that it now contains. All right, so that's one um, photooxidation step. Then pheophyton in its reduced form is going to transfer that electron here and we'll say in the presence of the QA quinone molecule. It's going to transfer that electron, which then is going to oxidize pheophyton. So now it's back to its oxidized state. 
and reduce the quinone molecule. So now we can symbolize the quinone molecule as QA minus. So then we're going to take the quinone A molecule and we see in the next um, uh, chem photochemical redox reaction that electron uh, nearby the plastic quinone molecule that's bound to the QB site that electron is going to be transferred here so that's the next photochemical redox or the next uh, redox reaction which is get then going to oxidize the QA molecule and produce a reduced form of plastiquinone. Now we're just showing one electron. There is only one electron that's been passed along here each time. Okay, and these two steps from, from P680 to pheophyton and from um, pheophyton to the QA quinone molecule happen very quickly. Um, this step here is, can slow down a little bit here um, where quinone molecule is passing the electron on to, to PQ. PQ minus now has to wait for a second electron to come in. So we have another a second electron that goes through these same steps that we outlined above here. Um, starting with P680, gets oxidized, passes that next electron on to pheophyton, uh, pheophyton is reduced, then it gets oxidized as it reduces quinone, quinone A um, molecule, um, then that next step where the QA quinone molecule ox, uh, reduces the plastic quinone, the QA gets oxidized, and so the second electron is going through the same series of steps. So we're going to reiterate that last step there for this is the second electron coming through um, in the presence now of PQ minus, and that's going to produce. Um, plastoquinone with essentially two extra electrons now. Of course, this is not the state that pl plastoquinone stays in, uh, and, and I'm just kind of using this to symbolize what's going to quickly happen here is that we're going to see two hydrogen ions um, become uh, bound to this molecule of this PQ, this one PQ molecule, producing PQH2. So now this PQH2 has two electrons um, that were excited through this process here. So it took, um, it's the result of basically the result of two photons of light energy uh, exciting two electrons separate in separate steps. So that's kind of an important um, step to, to, to note. And that's why rejection of PQ is a little bit slower than the other two. That's at least what in part. Now these two hydrogen ions that we're referring to here come from the lumen of, or sorry, let, let me say that again. These two hydrogen molecules come from the stroma in the chloroplast. So we can see uh, well, it's not shown in our diagram here, but what we're going to see happen in the next uh, diagram is that we have two hydrogen ions that are then going to be added to the QB or the plastoquinone. And that's going to create that plastoquinone with the hydrogen ions that are going to dissociate from this QB site and enter the thylakoid membrane. So we'll, we'll be continuing with that discussion here shortly. Now we were mentioning in the last um, video recording that we're moving this down here so we can kind of uh, see this lower part of the diagram here. We were mentioning that um, P680 uh, represented this way with a plus sign is a very strong oxidizing agent, uh, probably the strongest in nature. So it's important for the position of these chlorophyll molecules, which are bound to this whole D1 protein complex, to be physically separated from the QB binding site where plastoquinone is. Um, because otherwise, P680 as such a strong oxidizing agent could very easily oxidize plastoquinone and steal that electron back, um, which would be non-productive for photosynthesis. So the question is, where does it get its replacement uh, electron? And so that takes us into the next topic here, um, which is uh, how P680, here's our question, how does P680 plus 
um, acquire another electron, a replacement electron. So it has to become reduced once again. So we're looking at this, this diagram here, and here's the reaction center with, um, for photosystem 2. And uh, what we're looking at sort of in a more expanded view is this um, complex here, which is called the uh, oxygen evolving complex. There we go. Or the OEC, we'll kind of briefly refer to. So the oxygen evolving complex, you can see here, is interacting with water. So what happens here is we have, say, we really, we're seeing that it's um, two water molecules, but we'll kind of um, break this down here. Basically, we have a water molecule that's going to be um, undergo hydrolysis, or um, photolysis would be another way to refer to this, or we could even say it's going to be oxidized um, to form two hydrogen ions plus two electrons from the hydrogens plus an oxygen, you know, just a single oxygen atom. All right, so that's one hydrogen, um, that's one water molecule. And here is the second water molecule and it's going to be broken down again into two hydrogen ions plus two electrons plus another oxygen. So that's going to produce, the oxygens here are going to, once the water molecule is um, split or oxidized, it's going to produce um, oxygen gas, which if we look back at our uh, photosynthesis equation, we had CO2 plus H2O give C6H12O6 plus oxygen gas. So this is where oxygen gas comes in. Um, and this is also where water is a reactant right here in this oxygen evolving complex. So we also see that four electrons result from these two water molecules and four hydrogen ions. So, the th so this is all happening here down in the, or within the thylakoid lumen. Um, so hydrogen ions are accumulating in the thylakoid lumen, which is going to be important later for ATP synthesis. The four electrons that you see here, we're going to expand here what's happening to each of these electrons. Each of these electrons is going to be bound to each of these manganese um, ions within the oxygen evolving complex. So here we have four electrons bound to uh, four manganese ions in the in the oxygen evolving complex. So now that the oxygen evolving complex is, is fully loaded with these electrons, we're going to see what happens now uh, when we have P680 in its redu its I'm sorry in its oxidized form uh, as that strong oxidizing agent um, looking for another electron to replace. So it basically pulls this electron off of the manganese. Um, ion in the oxygen evolving complex, which then reduces the P680 back to its stable form here where now it has an electron in, you know, a at the ground state ready to be excited and undergo the next photooxidation step. What is that going to do with, for the manganese ion that's in the oxygen evolving complex? That manganese ion is now missing its electron that it was bound to whereas the rest of them continue to hold on to their electron until the next uh, P680 plus or oxidized form of P680 pulls that electron off and then becomes reduced once again leaving that manganese ion in its, um, in its oxidized state. So the series of uh, P680 plus uh, oxidizing the manganese ion, stealing that electron, becoming reduced again is going to continue until all four of those manganese ions are stripped of their electron. And then what happens next when all the manganese ions are oxidized? Then it immediately triggers two more uh, water molecules to become oxidized to steal, once again, if we look up here, to um, take those uh, electrons from the water molecule and reload those manganese ions.